Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today. will be super helpful video to any of you having a dot challenger, guys. And if you need to find the fuse, the powertrain fuse, stay with us. We'll explain that in this video today. You have multiple fuses, so make sure to stay until the end. And we'll explain common mistake people make when actually, guys, removing or replacing fuses on a vehicle. Uh, actually, two mistakes, so make sure to stay until the end. We'll cover super helpful information today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage will be making at least two to three hundred free repair videos. On that Dodge Challenger specifically, we will be taking completely apart transmission engine wise and we have multiple ones which are the V6 and the V8, so videos will be coming very soon. Uh, uh, why we do all that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping, check Check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save a ton of money. So what we need to do, we need to uh, actually guys open the hood on that uh, Dot Challenger. We have a 2018 model uh, right here. So if you come right here, it's uh, pretty easy guys Okay, to open it. It's been a little bit of an accident, so ignore that part. It's mostly cosmetically on the driver's side. but. If you come this way, check this thing out. This is the fuse box right here under the hood, guys. That's the fuse box that we have. So how do you guys uh, remove it? You have one thing here, one there. You need to squish towards each other, open. It comes that way. On the back side, you have the fuse numbers listed. And uh, the fuses that we need to check now for the powertrain. First, every time, guys, you remove, okay, fuse, I recommend to disconnect the car battery. And because if you don't do it, you can burn the electronics, modules, computers, that could be expensive to fix. So always, actually, guys, disconnect the car battery and we'll put a link to a video that explains which battery terminal to disconnect and reconnect first then you need to find guys the first fuse for the power train will be known as fuse number 34 guys so that will be okay if we come right here that will be fuse number one two three four five six seven seven fuse so one two three four five six seven that fuse right here is the first one second one that we need to check is fuse number 35 these two fuses guys will need to be checked okay right here now these fuses guys uh, one is 25 one is a 20 amp fuse i recommend to always test fuses and relays if you're in doubt that they're bad because sometimes just looking through them when you remove them you cannot tell if they're good or bad and we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test the fuse and a relay as well in just a few seconds you will, you will be able to test yours hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you guys next time